Welcome back. Let's go over the app dashboard's core components so that you can better understand how to use them for the benefit of your app. If you would like to learn about these components in more depth, we have dedicated articles for all of them, which you can find at this link here. Now on to the design tab. The design tab is where you have control over the design of your app. In it, first you'll find branding. Branding is where you set up the overall branding of your app. In this page, you can upload your app's icon and loading screens, change your app's font, and change your app's color theme. To get an in-depth look focusing purely on branding, check out this link here. Next on the list is the side menu. This is where you take control over your app's side menu. In this page, you can show or hide the side menu, adjust the display settings of your side menu, and features to the side menu. Get an in-depth look on the side menu at this link here. Third on the list is the footer menu. This is where you can set up a bottom navigation bar to your app either in conjunction with or instead of the side menu. In this page, you can show or hide the footer menu, adjust the display settings of your footer menu, and add features and actions to the footer menu. For an in-depth tutorial on footer menu, this link will lead you to it. The last in the branding list is user login. In this page, you can upload your logo, adjust the display settings of your login screen, and change the wording terms in the login screen. For a deep dive into the user login screen, check out this link here. Let's move on to the media library. High quality images are a critical part of making your app stand out and can help elevate your brand's perception. The media library is an amazing tool that can help you accomplish this. Access the media library in the left side menu of the app dashboard by clicking on add media or by triggering it throughout the app dashboard by clicking on a component that requires an image such as image carousels, list images, and background images. With the media library, you can upload images and use them anywhere in your app. You can choose from a selection of thousands of high quality stock photos from professional photographers around the world, all ready to use and pre-licensed for both personal and commercial use. Also, you can edit your images inside the media library where you can add text and color enhancements, crop your images and more. Next on the list is the home screen. The home screen feature is exactly what you'd imagine. It's the feature that users will see when they first open your app. There are two ways you can select which features you'd like to set as your home screen. Method one, you can click on home screen in the left menu, then click the search icon, then find the feature you want to use and select it. Method two, Navigate to a feature either through the emulator or through the My Features section in the left-hand menu. Then click the hamburger icon in the top right of the Features Editor. Then select Set as Home Plugin. Now onto the Marketplace. As we mentioned before, the Marketplace is where you'll find a variety of features you can add to your app. Developers from around the world, including you, are able to submit and sell features through the Marketplace, thus creating an ecosystem of solutions and possibilities. To access the Marketplace, simply click on Features, then Marketplace. Now that you know what the core features are, in the next video, Getting Started Part 3, we'll talk about the common standardized components you'll find throughout the app dashboard when you're building your app that will help to streamline the experience. If you're watching this on our BuildFire blog, every link shown in the video you just saw can be found throughout the article below. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can find all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.